I told you that. Good one. We found out his, that his paraeducator was videotaping him while he was singing Christian songs yeah, on the school good. bus because she wanted to humiliate him by showing how quote unquote ridiculous he looked and sounded. Oh, yeah. But he kept right on singing anyway. Oh, good. As a freshman in high school, um, he was bullied, called the R word, told he was worthless, called the vice principal up at the school and said, Trevor's being bullied by students A and B, and we'd like you to look into that. And so I said, well, can we have a meeting with you? We show up to the meeting the next day, and they escort us into this meeting room, and there was like uh, three vice principals, the principal, three or four teachers, and a police officer. So, wow, okay. And I said, look, this is not a deposition. There's not going to be any cross-examinations of Trevor. He's just going to read what was said and done to him. Then you can all decide where you think the miscarriage of justice might lie. So he reads a card and says, call me tarded, call me worthless, push me down, pour water on my head. And, you know, you could have heard a pin drop in that room. And I said, okay, you all decide where you think the miscarriage of justice might lie. As a senior year, every parent got an email saying, if you want your son or daughter to be on the homecoming court, fill out this five-part document. And, and I thought about all the hopes and dreams I had for Trevor before he was born, and I knew this wasn't for him, and I, I just hit the delete button. And then uh, mm -hmm. Melissa got a call the next day from his uh, Sorry, uh, yeah. special ed teacher uh, saying, did, yeah. you, did you fill out the application? And he said, no, that's not for us. And uh, he goes, well, do you mind if I fill it out? Nope. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so the next day we go to pick him up at school and uh, he comes traipsing out and he's got a, a white rose in his hand and, mm -hmm. and uh, I say, where'd you get the cool rose, Trevor? He goes, I had a homecoming card. He goes, no, son, you know, I deleted that. He goes, no, I am. He pulls out his, his backpack and pulls a piece of paper and says, congratulations, Trevor Hendershot is on the homecoming court for 2009 Northwood High School at the pep rally. There's all, there's 1,200 kids there, the band's playing, the, the, uh, you know, cheerleaders are dancing, all that, and then at the end of the, of the pep rally, the MC goes, our, our 2009 homecoming king is Trevor, and didn't even get to our last name in the whole <laughs> no. stadium, long standing, tearful standing ovation, so that was really great. At the game that night, the football game that night, the oh, vice principal, one of the vice principals that we had a uh, contentious situation with four years earlier came up to us and said, you know, when Trevor was a freshman, as you know, he was bullied for his disability, but also for the fact that he loves to sing Christian hymns before, during, and after school. And, and we put a stop to the bullying, but getting him to stop singing was not, didn't happen mm. over the four years. But we came to realize that, that his singing is, his faith is part of who he is. It yeah. comes not in only uh, loud Christian hymn singing, but also a fist bump, high five, or even a hug for the truly fortunate that were able to cross his path during that day at school. I would just tell parents that, you know, if you're pregnant with a child with Down syndrome or any disability, the best is yet to come. Don't, don't, don't sacrifice this opportunity to make a difference in your lives and the lives of others around you. Don't pass up this opportunity to make a difference in the world.